Real quick, I'm supposed to work on my truck tonight, but yeah, I'll work on it tomorrow night, and then I have to fix my Buick. Nobody's actually guessed what's wrong with it yet, based off of my video. I'll put a link to it up here. Um, it's it's really obvious, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this is my Super Nintendo. This is my original one that I bought in 1994. Uh, brand new in the box. I brought it home. Uh, I bought it at Christmas in 1994 because we got a bunch of like, uh, gift cards and one of them was Electronics Boutique. And so I went and I bought this. I think I was like 20 or 21 at the time. Um, I probably would have just turned 21. Uh, but... Uh, I bought this, and I bought Donkey Kong Country 2 with it. This is Donkey Kong Country 1 that I bought since then. But, uh, yeah, I just, I love to play these old games. Um, and I just love the old Super NES. This one did need a recap, um, so I ordered the capacitors. I just did the surface mount, the actual real capacitors, not the... Some people use the bigger capacitor and bend the legs and solder them down. It's easier... I'm good at soldering, so I just did the surface mount ones, um, and I cleaned it all up and put it all back together. Um, I have another one that I bought for my oldest son. My youngest son has it now, and I bought that, I don't know, he was three or four years old, um, but I bought it and it was on clearance at GameStop for $9.99. They had a bunch of these. I wish I would have bought them all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because, like, a few months after that, they just quit carrying all the Super NES stuff. And I found out that they actually threw it all away. They threw it in the dumpster. It's like, man, you could have loaded up my pickup truck. Yeah. <laughs> all the games and everything. It's crazy. Uh, but. I have that one in the house, and it's hooked to his bigger TV. Um, but, yeah. So I've been trying to find a bigger TV. I'll, I'll show you what this one's like. It's not too good. Boy, this TV is really messed up. I bought this at a garage sale for $5. But it's got all kinds of issues. Loose connection. The screen's really used. I have the brightness all the way up. It keeps going in and out of focus. I'm trying to find a slightly... I have a 13 inch. I'm trying to find a slightly bigger one for the one in my room. My son's got like a, a big old 30 some inch. But, you know. You have to take what you can find cheap or free these days. Let's just play a new game. We'll do one player. Let's turn it up a little bit. This one is stereo. It's flickering. Quit flickering. My check on it. I'll get Diddy back. Ah, oh, I lost Diddy. Die, bird. Donkey Kong Country 1. I have all of them, but you know. I really like one. Although 2 is kind of fun too. Yay! 
I'm supposed to be working on my truck right now. But I decided to play some Nintendo instead. cave level do it again. this one and you throw your mate to get the stuff that's higher that's on too yeah oh well I suppose I should get to work on my truck this old TV I think it's gonna go in the trash the tubes just I would take it apart and fix these loose connections or whatever 
but she is just going in and out of focus. That's probably a, a bad cat. But she's got some burn in. I'm having to turn the tube up, you know, to full brightness. I can adjust that on the flyback, but once the picture tube's worn out, it's just worn out like a power button thing's worn out. This thing's been well, well used. A lot of these older TVs have. So this one's probably gonna go bye-bye. <laughs> it's probably time for it to get recycled. And then I'll just be on the lookout for another one. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. This is Tom Frugal Prepper.